With the 2020 decade around the corner, we want to highlight the key designers who have impacted fashion immensely in the last 10 years. Here are the 10 most influential designers of the decade. Undercover's graphic streetwear, Nike collaborations, and dynamic runways have drawn acclaim with designer Jun Takahashi. Covetable mass store graphic t-shirts, submersive statement outerwear, and plentiful collaborations, ranging from Vans and Levi's to Supreme and Skolop. Takahashi created John Undercover and Sue Undercover sub-labels in 2013 as more conventional for men and women seeking elevated wardrobe staples. Love him or hate him, Hedy Slimane is both a lightning rod for criticism and an uber-successful menswear designer, with legions of men flocking to each brand he reshapes in his image. Slimane kicked off an immensely influential tenure at Yves Saint Laurent. The shift yielded slim double-pocket rider jackets, tight suits, skinny jeans, and pointed boots. In 2018, Slimane was named director of Celine, thus beginning his revision of a cult favorite label. Raf Simmons left a major mark on the decade with his well-documented Dior designs, Adidas collaborations, trend-setting in-house collections, and his partnership with Calvin Klein. Raf Simmons' work for Calvin Klein demonstrated his knack for kickstarting trends. His Raf Simmons Adidas Oswegos first showing up on the runway in 2012 were some of the first designer dad shoes on the contemporary market. In 2015, Gucci took a chance on the then unknown Alessandro Michele, elevating him to Gucci's creative director. Thanks to the Italian designer's whimsical and romantic worldview, Gucci's clothing, especially branded t-shirts and sweaters, reigns supreme. Regardless of shifting taste, there's plenty of demand for the brand's accessories, which serve as an accessible entryway to Michele's sumptuous world. Over the course of her decade at Celine, Phoebe Philo became a beacon for women seeking sophisticated and intelligent clothing. When she elected to include statement pieces into the seasonal ranges, Philo applied sculptural silhouette altering garments like long tunics, knit blazers, and billowing skirts. Throughout the decade, Philo delivered understated designs and clever layers that won many critical accolades and high street imitations, making her departure from Celine in 2018 that much more noteworthy. Denma Gavasaya's output at Vetmont's and then Balenciaga shaped trends that didn't exist until his lot of Volkova stop runways upset the establishment. Vetmont's boundary busting collaborations with labels as diverse as Levi's, Combe de Garcon, and Kawasaki established Gavasaya as an unmatched tastemaker. And then there's Balenciaga Triple S sneaker. Few other shoes in the past decade were similarly impactful or imposingly huge. Yet in its wake, everyone from other luxury houses to huge footwear companies were left scrambling to recreate the giant footwear styling that Denma made cool. Virgil Abloh launches first clothing label Pyrex Vision in 2012. The explosive financial success of Pyrex Vision helped Abloh kickstart Off-White in 2013, which became an LVMH prize finalist in 2015. Two years later, Abloh collaborated with everyone from Takashi Murakami to Nike, paving the way for him as the creative director of Louis Vuitton in 2018. Even still, this brief bio is unable to properly quantify the impact that Abloh and his peers imparted upon the global fashion industry. Little could be said about Kanye West that hasn't already been explored. However, it's worth mentioning the undeniable influence the artist exerted over the fashion industry this decade. West has developed his personal taste through several stages, from Ricardo Tisci's art direction in 2011, to 2013 Mason Martin Margiela's design mass, to the APC collaboration. 2015 saw Kanye effectively finding himself through his Adidas partnership when Yeezy Season 1 debuted. The muted earth tones, slouchy hoodies, and shirling jackets essentially set the tone for the rest of Kanye's decade. Few designers could hope to match Rick Owens' global influence, which began to draw attention in the 2000s and exploded in the 2010s. Owens truly owned his unique vision this past decade by expanding the line's color palette and diffusion label, Dark Shadow. He also introduced visionary footwear collaborations with Adidas, Hood Rubber Company, Vejas, and Birkenstock. Ray Kawakubo, head of Comme des Garçons' empire, is responsible for an uncountable number of trends over the past decade. Comme des Garçons' Nike collaborations were some of the decade's finest. Key drops include 2013's black Comme des Garçons Blazer Low, 2017's Nike Vapor Max, and Nike Dunk High. Meanwhile, the company's Dover Street Market outpost, founded in 2004, continued to set the standard for department stores well into the next decade. 